Alright, well today I've had uh, several inquiries about the panel that I have installed in the uh, Sting S4. So we're going to go over uh, a couple of things about it today. One of the things I wanted to do, as you can see on this screen here, is the databases are expired. And that's referring to the obstacles and terrain databases that are now uh, out of date. They have to be updated every 28 days, and you can download those from Dynon's website. So what we're going to do is uh, update through the USB port. So we'll pull out the installed USB and slip in the one that has the updated database. Now that that's in, we're going to push the map. Accept. And now we push both 7 and 8 at the same time. And that brings us into the setup. The first thing we'll see is the software system setup. And we're going to load files. So we click over one. Load files is the first thing. We're going to accept that. And then we're going to scroll down to the database that we need to update. I only have one on here right now and that's the one that we're going to need to load. So there's a uh, key here that says load and it asks you to make sure yes and now it'll start loading the database. Since both these sky views are connected only one database needs to be updated and it will sync with the database in both screens. This is relatively quick, unlike a software system update that Skype just came out with. This is the version 11.0 software. It takes about 45 minutes to upload, so you need to be connected to ground power during that. Now it's synchronizing the database to the other screen. And it's done. Now we'll exit. All right. Now we're going to begin a uh, the power up. So to do that, we're going to start all over again, and I'll see you in just a minute.